My name is Cameron Only, and today we're going to be talking about what is cryptography. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So what is cryptography? Cryptography is essentially a process that allows us to protect sensitive or private information or messages. And we can do this through a process called encrypting and decrypting information. This allows us to safely transfer information and send messages without someone being able to successfully quote unquote eavesdrop on our conversations. So how can we do this? We can go ahead and accomplish it through using codes. But before we dive into the details, we might ask, why in the world do we need cryptography? Why do we care? So let's say that I want to tell my best friend a secret, and I want to send her a text message to tell her something that means a lot to me that I don't want anyone else to know. What if that message somehow is able to be seen by someone else who's not my friend? In that case, I probably would be a little bit panicked because I wouldn't want some stranger to know something that I thought my best friend was going to see. So we can use cryptography to make sure that only I and my best friend or the person who I'm sending information to is able to understand a message. So even if someone does eavesdrop and look at my message, they wouldn't be able to understand it. If we can do this through a process called encrypting messages and decrypting messages. To encrypt a message means to change it from something that everyone can understand into something that only myself and the recipient of my message can understand. And to decrypt a message is to change that message back into, into something that anyone can understand. So let's go ahead and dive into an example. Let's talk about the deep dark secret that I want to send my best friend. I like waffles more than pancakes. The secret is out. In this case, what we have is a sentence that might be private and impersonal to me that I don't want anyone else to know about. But as you can see, you and I both currently understand this message. And sometimes we call this something called plain text or essentially a message that anyone can understand. However, let's say that when I send my message to my best friend, I want to have it as a code or a private secret message that no one else can understand. So I might send her a message that looks like this. In this case, we have an encrypted message or essentially a message that has been changed from something that we understand, a plain message, into what we call a ciphertext. A ciphertext just refers to a message that has been encrypted um, into a different sort of setup, um, like the following. And so in this case, my best friend might receive a message that looks like this that might be difficult for someone else who's not myself and my best friend to understand. But if I send this to my best friend out of nowhere, she's also going to be like, hey, I don't understand what this means. And so that's why it's important that whoever you're sending the message to also understands how you're encrypting the message so then, that, so then they can decrypt the message into something that they can understand. So let's go ahead and talk about how I change my I like waffles more than pancakes text into this cipher text. So then I can showcase how my best friend might be able to understand this message and how you too can create secret messages to keep your information private. So in this instance, we're using something called a Caesar cipher, where essentially we can shift our alphabet by a certain key or number. And so let's take a look at what this actually refers to. So by shifting a letter or a number, what I mean and what a Caesar cipher does is it changes it into a different letter or number depending on a key or basically how many times you want to shift it. So if I have a key of one, then I might change all of the A's into B's, the B's into C's, and the C's into D's, um, and continue doing that for all of the other letters in my message. Or I might have a one change to a two, or a two change to a three. I can also make my key something different, like well, let's say that I have a key of 2, now all of my A's will become C's, my B's will become D's, and we can continue this pattern of shifting over our numbers and our letters. And so you actually see that we've used a Caesar cipher in the previous example with the shift of 1. Um, since we have a statement like I like, where the I becomes a J, the L becomes an M, um, and we continue down the message, making this into something that we call an encrypted message or a ciphertext. 
So now that we understand how my message has been coded or how it's been encrypted, my best friend, I can tell her this information and I can tell her this secret, secret key that we shouldn't share with anyone else so that no one else can figure out the message. Um, and she can essentially reverse this by decrypting the um, complicated coded secret message back into our plain message. And so as you can see, um, we can also work backwards. So in this case, if my best friend knows we're using a Caesar cipher and we've shifted everything by one, she can use that to shift it in the opposite direction. So J becomes an I, M becomes an L, and we can continue through our message. Um, however, something that you might notice is that some quote-unquote encryption algorithms are safer than others. And so what do we mean by that? In this instance, a Caesar cipher is an example of an encryption algorithm. In cryptography, an encryption algorithm is a sequence of instructions about how a plain text message can become coded into a secret message and vice versa, how we can take a coded encrypted message and change it back into something that is a plain text that we can understand. And so, um, long story short, encryption algorithms are the set of instructions or the pattern that you use in order to protect protect your information, encrypt it, and decrypt it. And so now that we have already talked about Caesar ciphers, we might see where these can be a little bit unsafe. Um, and the reason for that is sometimes folks could guess, hey, maybe this, you know, B is actually referring to an A, and they can essentially crack our code. And so um, Caesar ciphers aren't incredibly safe, um, because now if we take a look at a different example, let's say that I gave you this ciphertext, um, if I gave you a little bit of time with it, and knowing what we know about Caesar ciphers, we might be able to work backwards and guess what the actual message behind this encrypted message means. And so let's say that I thought that this might be a Caesar cipher where each letter was shifted by a certain amount. What I could find is eventually, through a little bit of testing, I might be able to crack the code and unlock the secret message, in this case, hello world. Um, and so this is an example about how not all encryption algorithms are super safe, and there are a lot more encryption algorithms that we can use, and that um, many different um, pieces of technology um, use in day-to-day -day life. And so where else might we see the use of cryptography? So cryptography is used across the globe in a variety of different places. So for example, if you've ever been to the doctor, a lot of medical information is kept encrypted and kept safe using cryptography. Additionally, if we've been to the bank, a lot of banks and financial um, organizations use cryptography to keep people's bank information and their money um, information secret as well. And then finally, we've talked a little bit about how cryptography can be used in messaging, although there are infinitely more uses of cryptography, and I challenge you to look deeper into how you might be able to use cryptography in your day-to-day -day life. And so with that, I wanted to leave on a huge challenge where I'd love it if in the comments on the, of this video, try to create, create your own secret message. And then once you've created your own secret message, try to decrypt someone else's code in the comments. And so thank you so much for watching. And I hope that this was a bite-sized piece of information about cryptography. Thank you.